Do you ever come home smelling like the deceased or the chemicals? Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying to know Cal? Because Calvin's dying to know. I'm dying to know where Calvin's been. Oh, he's not speaking to no. us. No, he's not talking to Apparently us. Apparently he's been speaking to everybody else out there and he's been liaison with other people out there, but he ain't speaking to us. Oh, well. He can oh, just well. sit in the background. I think he's just come back because Halloween's here soon. He just wants to be yeah. a star attraction again. He does, yeah. Today. He does. Oh, today. Today we are going to be answering five quick questions from Kim. Yes. Hi, Kim. How are Hi, you? Hi, Kim. Just fixing my watch while I'm sitting here. Yeah. So Kim has asked um, a few questions sort of about different bits and bobs okay. that Kim's interested in. So yeah. I thought I'd just hit you with five quick questions from Kim. Okay. Which I feel like we should have a segment like, ba ba ba. Thanks, Kim, for Thanks, sending Kim. this in. Thank okay, you. so first one is, do you ever come home smelling like the deceased or the chemicals? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I've had this question a few times before. Do I go home stinky and what's my husband think about it and all of that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, I usually go home smelling the bleach is what I usually do because at the end of the every day, I clean the uh, mortuary out and I thoroughly clean everywhere. Benches with disinfectant, tables disinfecting at the end, of, like everything, the floor gets bleached and it's thoroughly bleached. And usually when I step out and go back in, it's just like, whoa. So I'm usually smelling of bleach. Bleachy girl. So, yeah. Um, uh, my clothes have sometimes smelled of, uh, if I've had a really bad case of decomposition, I've had to work on for a while. And uh, yeah, slight odour on my clothes, which will go straight in the wash as I will go straight in the shower, wash hair, body instantly. So but that doesn't happen very often. It's Especially, usually I mean, chemical. That's a natural thing, isn't it? If you've yeah. been in that environment all day yeah. dealing with that, then the yeah. first thing you're going to want to do is have a good scrub. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, I still go home. I just, just throw my clothes into the washing machine, throw myself into the wash, give myself a good wash, come out and husband goes, oh, you smell delicious. <laughs> do you ever find that your hair holds smells? Hair does hold smells, yeah. And even if you put a hair net, like uh, we've got Cap. nets and caps and things on that, the smell just can still get through. So, uh, but like I say, most of the time it's bleachy smell and everything. So it doesn't really bother me having bleachy smell, but uh, it does uh, now and again, but not all the time. And my hair's always tightly put up. So when I let it down, you know, it's usually fine and I can't usually smell anything, but I'll wash it if it smells. And if, if I have a comment when I get home and Lee goes, mm, you smell a bit, your hair smells a bit bleach, I'll go, okay, I'll go and wash it, you know. So, yeah, sometimes, but not often, yeah, yeah. Imagine coming over and him saying, oh, I know what you've been working on today. Yeah, <laughs> yes, that's right, yeah. Okay. I mean, it never bothers him, you know, because he, he works in an industry where, you know, stuff like this uh, he's worked with before, so it's no drama to him. How do you stop the deceased from smelling during visitations or viewings? Oh, is this true? If they've started to decompose, if they've started... Especially to, the ones that have started, started to decompose. Started to decompose, yeah. Because most people don't smell, you know. The every, you know, normal people have just come in, passed away, the little Betty from my nurse and home is, you know, once washed, dressed in the coffin, because our funerals and air viewings usually happen within a few days of the people passing. There's usually no smell. Excuse me, I just got a little itch. Um, <laughs> uh, but if the... There's starting to be a slight smell with a slight odour, you know, sometimes people can just have that little bit odour that's not really bad and they've got that, what I call, I can smell green, I've spoken about before, where, you know, that uh, the bacteria starts down in near your, um, appendix. your appendix area, which starts the bacteria and, and I can smell that green. So if I can smell it and I, I'm used to smells, I, I imagine if I didn't do anything, the smell would be there during viewings and visitations so I would aspirate so basically doing the cavity aspirate aspirate that area take out all that gas and fluid from there and put a cavity chemical in a cavity embalming chemical embalm that and that'll stop that and take away that smell and that can last for a week or two weeks that little preservation there uh, sometimes if the smell's not too bad but there's a slight odour and uh, I don't need to do any of that, I haven't changed colour but there's just an odour, I can put uh, what we call the autopsy powder which I've talked about before, it's basically the powder that absorbs smell 
It's a bit like the same stuff you got when you were at school. If you vomited on the floor and it absorbs fluid, it also absorbs the smell. So I could put that under the body in the coffin and that actually takes away a lot of the smells. So there's a few of the uh, techniques I do just to, you know, keep that smell at bay if there's a slight smell. Do you ever get anyone coming in with their clothes still on? Yes. Um, we get people uh, coming from nursing homes that are dressed. So uh, sometimes they've even been washed in the nursing home and, yeah. and dressed back in a yeah. clean nighty or Yeah, or, or their outfit, mm -hmm. yeah. Or sometimes in the nursing home they have passed through the day and they're in their day outfit and they're fully dressed and mm -hmm. they've passed away. They'll come in fully dressed. Um, if they've died at residence, at home, they're fully dressed or in PJs or nighty or whatever. So, you know, often people are dressed, even from hospitals, because people that have long stay in hospital like to get dressed through the day because yeah. they're in hospital for weeks or months and they still want to feel normal. So even from hospitals, I'll get people that are dressed. So, yeah, yeah, I guess movies and TV make us think that everybody's in a shroud or a, a wrapped <laughs> in a sheet, get, naked, yeah, cadaver style. Or something like mm. that, yeah. yeah. No, often uh, we get people that are dressed. Um, and you talk about people coming from the hospital, but there must be scenarios where the body bypasses the hospital and comes directly in. Yeah, well, for instance, uh, people from nursing homes don't need to go to hospital if it's, you know, normal passing in the nursing home. There's no suspicious circumstances. People that die at home, palliative care, um, you know, not suspicious circumstances straight to us because uh, they're expected to die. And a lot of the times I have prepaid funerals with a certain company, so we'll get the call straight away. And uh, so, yeah, there's no need for them to go to hospitals neither. So they come direct into a funeral home where we'll care for them and uh, look after them. And on the clothes one, you know, if people come in with clothes, sometimes the families don't want you to touch them. And they want you to leave them as they are. All right. You know, because some people just don't want to be prepped, which we've talked about before, like, you know, don't touch. The, yep. You know, they don't want to be touched and it's fine. So as long as there's no purge or nothing and they're not filthy dirty, then I won't. I'll disinfect with a disinfect spray and make sure there's nothing on the face and put them in Leave the coffin. Leave them be. Yeah, but if the family want them clothes returned, I'll launder them and return them if they're returnable because sometimes they're not because yeah. they're purged and all kinds on them and it's a bit, uh, you know, or sometimes the family will say just disregard the clothes we're bringing in new clothes so yeah and while we're talking about clothes do you cut them i don't cut i cut clothes off that would be disregarded because it's easier than trying to get it off if they're just going into the um the clinical waste then yes i'll cut them off but no i don't I don't cut clothes unless we inform the family that they're too small. Can you give us a new one? Are you happy for us to cut it? Or if the person's really, really, really obese and we have, you know, we'll have to say to the family, look, oh, it's really difficult. we want to get them into size yeah. eight wedding dress yeah, from 50 you know, years ago. That's right. Are you happy for us to cut? If not, we'll need to bring us bigger clothes because, uh, yeah, but no, we don't cut clothes all the time. It's just... Uh, only in very necessary circumstances. So, you know, we address everybody. Awesome. Thanks, Trace. You're Thanks welcome. for that question. That's yeah. fantastic. That's a good question. I hope we've Thank answered you. them all. Yes. If you have any other questions, send them our way. Yes, yeah, send them our way. Thank you. And uh, take care, everybody, and keep sending in the questions and uh, your comments because uh, we're still getting heaps. And Carl is back to hopefully maybe answer one sometime if he's going to speak to us. Till next time, guys. Bye. Take care.